all right good morning guys welcome back to the channel this is a new series that we're gonna be doing in this series we're gonna be showcasing some of the off-road rigs that we have in trinidad because we have a lot of monsters in trinidad so to kick off this series we're gonna be starting with andrew long base samurai i'll bring him on and let him tell you everything about it all right guys so this is andrew so i'll let him tell you about his van so right, guys so this is my long base uh, well, it's called a, a, a Suzuki Murti Gypsy. It's originally from India. And I, I bought it when the start of COVID. That was like two years ago, and this was my project. Um, what I've done on this van, we have the custom main bumper. It, um, it's still, I still had to finish it. I still had a blast shield here. So I had to finish well off inside and paint and, and whatnot. Um, the lights. These are the original lights. Um, I also cut these slots on them to fit them back instead of just having it on top. Uh, we have this thing about all, all these were fabricated by me. We, I got these, well, these were bent home here as well. And it was designed for a 95 winch. So, yeah. Right, another feature with this was the bushwhacker. I end up putting on the Bushwhacker fenders because the original fenders, they were completely rotten out. The support and the fender itself was rotten out. And then again, well, well, you know the trouble we have with lighting officers and we tires sticking out. So when I had put on these tires now, they were outside. So I end up getting the 7 inch Bushwhacker fenders and the, bump, the bumper were designed to, to fit it flush. So it will have that nice, decent look. Neat as well. These, I got these at real time off road. You can check them out. Mm -hmm. most, most of my Suzuki parts that I needed, I got it from real time off road. Yeah, I'll put the information in the description. All right, so Andrew, what lift you running on this? This running a uh, three inch body lift and a uh, spring over. This, this model Suzuki is a leaf spring, spring over axle. This side panel here, it had a plastic finisher. Originally, it had a plastic finisher on it. and. Uh, with the salt water getting into it and you know getting to clean it and whatnot it was completely rotten out so i ended up packing it out and plating it back with a new sheet of zinc so andrew you build these rock sliders yourself right right i build the rock sliders <laughs> well the whole the idea came about is with the bushwhacker it was short i noticed right and i wanted to have a finished look here so everything will come into proportion so i came up with the idea with the rock sliders and after i installed the rock sliders i realized well it's it kind of hard to step up into the vehicle still so then i came up with the idea why not just bend our next bar and build a sheet it on top and fabricate it in a way that you could use it as a step and these little dimples here i also press i also press all these little dimples Nice right. for the grip so you wouldn't slide off, you know, if it was like a flat sheet so you could probably slide off and damage yourself, so these is for the extra grip. Safety first. <laughs> Alright, so moving on to the rims and tires. What size are rim and tires these? Right, these are 15 inch rim and they the tires is 33 by 12.5. These are Desert Hawk tires. And then we're moving on to the back bumper. Alright, so this was also fabricated by Andrew. Alright, so Andrew, you want to tell us a little bit about the bumper? Right, so this back, back bumper, this was a tough one to design because the original bumper as well it had a plastic finisher here. And I wanted the same look as well. But the original flares was 3 inches, three in, three inches wide, yeah. Inches wide and the bushwhacker is seven inches. So when I bought the bushwhacker, um, the person in the USA who was cutting them they didn't cut it neat, neat to my standard, right? So I had to um, make the bumper and make a finisher here, so it could look even with with the arm. Um, it could have a nice lineup with the, the flares. So this flare itself was a little longer, but as I say, it wasn't cut neat. So I, I cut completely cut it off and design the little finish and the bumper I also have the indicator at the sides all these little pieces are 
for the wood cotton design. And I got the original Suzuki Jimny lights. Um, I wanted to get the LEDs one, but couldn't locate them, so I ended up getting these at real time off road. The bumper is painted in a flat block, called, it's called satin block. It has a nice finish to it and it has a, a more kind of like a rich look. And well, with the height of the vehicle, I also designed the bumper in a way that you can have, it have a step. I had a, um, it ha I have these two brackets here. I'm gonna put a plate here as well with a tow bar. And it has, it has those tow bar that comes with a little step up too. So you can step on the tow bar, so step up here, and then get into the vehicle. If you, if you look here, you'll see four holes. These four holes is for a uh, tire rack, for the tire swing. So they're gonna bolt here, and they're gonna have the tire rack swing. Um, to open up and get into the vehicle. So the tire will be there. Instead of having it on the tailgate, because you know with a bigger tire, it is way down the tailgate. Yeah, so that's why I'm uh, gonna park the gate one So for now, I'll just drill the holes, and uh, as I get the time, I'll start the design. Right, so this floor was completely rotten out. The floor in itself was rotten out and these humps was smashed down. So the hump, I had to press them back. I had a jack like below here and I had to press them back straight and get them as straight as possible. And the flooring, the materials I got by Bagwan Singh, that's the zinc, the zinc sheet. And I got it, well I had to do my calculation, I had to do my measurement, take measurements and whatnot and I went to BNM. And I told them what I wanted and how I wanted it pressed, and I got it pressed from them. So when I got from them, I came home. I had to cut it out, so I ended up cutting from here to there. So this is one full sheet, and then cut four ends. So like this end, there, and here. So it was cut in five pieces: the center and the four ends, and it was bolted and pot welded. But before I had to do that, the ribs, as a long base, it has extra support below it and it has four ribs four ribs on it and three was rotten so i had to also get that press and make back those first before i rest on the floor so that was done as well the floor in here as well the floor in front was completely rotted as well even the side walls so i had to make back the side walls before i put down the floor all these was pressed at BNM as well as a straight sheet and I bent it to suit and I cut to suit. Yeah. So as I said earlier, this was a tour van. So it was licensed for six people. Two passengers in the back. These had the long seats at the side. So two persons aside. And the original soft top for it was like a one inch bar. And one is bad as to support the top lane, right? Mm -hmm. But with safety wise, I wanted to, I, I come up with an idea where I should just build a road cage for it now. So with the passengers inside, I designed a road cage to, to protect the, the passengers in case something should happen and also with a basket rack for in front. So, you know, when they have the coolers in, in the center and people inside sitting down, you can also put like bags and, and other stuff in. Up, up on top of the roof now. Because I'm storage. Yeah, for storage. Yeah, and we can show you what the roof rack looks now. It's it's unfinished right now. It still has some work to do with it, but we'll show you what's done on it right now. Yeah. So this vehicle during the restoration, the body was completely stripped down to metal. All filler, all paint was removed. And from there we came up with we needed filler, we came up with filler, uh, primer, and then the base coat, and then the nice ready old scene here. We have a little small upgrade here with the seats as well. You don't normally see Jimny's with powered seats. <laughs> that's real one. So yeah, that's a nice feature. I also choose the leather seats for your, well, the weather as it's a soft top. You know, when the rain falls in, you can just wipe off and go again. Alright guys, so there you have it. The first episode of Rig Walk Around. All right, so thank you again, Andrew, for showing us this yeah, no magnificent problem. van. All right, guys, and that'll be it for this video. Leave a like, subscribe, leave some good vibes in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.